Now, Lord Mayor Lisa Scafidi is under scrutiny for more cases of undeclared travel. Liam Bartlett, we could be looking at as many as nine new cases. That's correct, Emmy. Nine News has uncovered what appears to be four cases that weren't covered by the Triple C. Lisa Scafidi says there's actually nine. Now, the admission is likely to reignite the travel scandal that has dogged the Lord Mayor for the past five months and led to a Crime and Corruption Commission finding of serious misconduct. We'd like to ask you some questions about travel declarations, please. Yes, Liam, I'm sure you would. You've been trying to do that for some time. Perth's Lord Mayor has been in the spotlight since October when the Corruption and Crime Commission found she'd engaged in serious misconduct, failing to declare tens of thousands of dollars in gifts and travel as required by the Local Government Act. The finding has made it uncomfortable for the Lord Mayor to officiate at major launches. I would hope that you wouldn't spoil today uh, such an auspicious day for the City of Perth by pushing that agenda. As you well, know... I've, I've given you a good run, but I think your position is more important to talk about, if you don't mind Look, as you would hopefully recognise, I'm not able to speak about it while the investigation is ongoing, and I will leave it at that. But legally, there is nothing to stop Lisa Scafidi talking about the local government department investigation into her conduct, an inquiry to decide if she should face charges. In the original investigation, the Corruption and Crime Commission was told of 10 trips by Lisa Scafidi's lawyers that were paid for by third parties. Travel the Lord Mayor should have declared. Now, Nine News has learnt the departmental investigation has uncovered more travel that should have been revealed to the Triple C. The department refuses to comment. But we've identified at least four overseas trips that appear to fall into that category. It dates back to December 2010, when Lord Mayor Scafidi attended an exhibition in the South Korean capital, the third party sponsor in this case, the Seoul Metropolitan Government. In June of 2013, Scafidi was in London for the Smart Cities of the Future conference, sponsored by a telco. Two days later, she was in Bilbao, Spain, a guest of the Singapore Urban Redevelopment Authority for the modestly titled World Mayor's Summit. In 2014, the World Mayor's Summit was held in Singapore and again, Perth's Lord Mayor was in the thick of it. None of these trips appear on Lisa Scafidi's personal register at Council House, but when we attempted to ask her about them, the Lord Mayor admitted there were more. I am not able to answer any of these questions until the matter is fully cleared. And I am going to leave it at that, so we've identified, I can't... We've identified at least four I think there's probably nine, where actually. You've, where you've travelled yeah. that you haven't declared as gazetted by the Local Government Act. I think there's probably nine and it'll all be answered in due course. The Lord Mayor's admission that there are nine more cases has been followed by silence from her and her media minders at Council House, despite repeated requests for clarification. If there are more and a significant number, uh, nine significant, if there are more, then I think uh, uh, that is a, a very serious question mark about, uh, about um, uh, uh, the implications of that for the City of Perth and for the position of Lord Mayor. The Lord Mayor appears to be in a difficult position. Not only is she now left to explain why she didn't declare this new bundle of travel perks, but more pointedly, why didn't she tell the Triple C about them in the first place? The Corruption and Crime Commission thanked you for giving them the details. Now, if you haven't given them all the details, that will be embarrassing, will it not? Uh, look, Liam, you seem to know so much about it. Why don't you just do your story on the facts you've got? How are you going? Hey, good. good the local government department investigation has now been underway for five months without any sign of a finding. When it first came up, I said make it the top priority uh, and basically trying to move forward from there. Uh, I'm confident, you've got to understand too, it's quite a detailed bit of work to be done and make sure we get it right. So it's in the hands of the department. I'm confident they'll all come back soon. High priority? Five months? How long is, uh, you know, how long do we have to wait before we get the clarity? And the damage, this is what I'm concerned about, is what damage is this doing to the status of the city and to the position of Lord Mayor? Time is, is an issue, uh, but what's more important is we get to the bottom of it and get it sorted. Liam Bartlett, Nine News.